Well, hello folks, and welcome back to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. So we've been uh, refinishing the walls and ceilings in this single wide mobile home. And uh, we've had, uh, or we're doing a multi-part series here on, on how this process is done. Uh, this is part six in this video. Um, and uh, what we're doing here today, I'm just gonna show you the uh, final coat of mud. So to get to this point, we, we had to uh, start with a tape coat where we applied the tape, we embedded the drywall tape in, in the joints. And uh, from there, we, uh, then we did our corner beads and trims. And then we put our first coat of mud on, and, uh, which was our first fill coat. And uh, now this is our, our second coat. So this is the final coat now. Uh, once we get done with this, we are ready for paint. So to get to this point, we've uh, this is all the tools that we've made that, that we've used. Uh, you know, we've, we've used these trowels, and we started out uh, with a four-inch trowel. And we used this four-inch trowel to embed our tape, and then on the next coat, uh, we uh, kind of feathered out uh, in the corners with the, using this six-inch trowel. On our uh, on our flats, what we call the flats, which is in the middle of the wall, we uh, use this uh, eight-inch trowel, and then we also have a ten-inch trowel here. Uh, sorry, ten or twelve? It's ten or twelve. I'm not sure. I guess it's a ten-inch, ten-inch uh, to further feather it out. So each coat, as we go along, each coat we've been you know going further and further and further out onto the wall, and I'll show you that in a bit more detail here in a bit. All we've been doing is working out of this mud pan here. And so, you know, we've just been uh, putting our mud in this, uh, this tray. We don't have a lot of fancy tools here, folks. You don't need a lot of fancy stuff to, uh, you know, to do this job. We've uh, used this mud bucket over here. You know, we're mixing our mud in this bucket here. We have a wash bucket. Uh, we have a paddle that we're mixing the mud with and we're using the uh, half inch drill to power that paddle. So we're using this uh, boxed mud and there's one sitting under the radi radio there and uh, so we put we take the mud from that box you know and we're putting it into the pail and then we mix it up to the right consistency. So we've gone through uh, we're on our 12th box of mud for for doing this entire uh, mobile home here. Uh, in between the second and third coat of mud, if you go back and look at our video, the previous video here, part five, how we did the second coat, you know, we uh, put it on quite heavy and there was ridges and things in it. And what we did is we sanded between the coats. So after that second coat, once it dried, we uh, sanded it out before we applied the third. And this is all we use for sanding. Here we have a pole sander. So this is just a sander you know, on a pole that, uh, you know, that we can sand uh, and not have to get up on the ladders and stuff. It's, you know, good for getting up along the ceilings. Uh, also, we have a, uh, you know, a hand sander. And these sanders are set up to use these pre-cut sheets of paper. And you can just buy these at uh, your building supply store. And they just, you know, they just fold in uh, and, and fit into the, fit into the, uh, into these into these sanders here very convenient you can sand the grid of sandpaper that you want uh, I'm using a hundred grit here because mine mine is uh, you know pretty heavy uh, mud and so I'm using a hundred grit but uh, you could use a 120 um, I wouldn't go any uh, coarser than a hundred grit like I wouldn't go with an 80 because you get a lot of scratch marks then that start to get starts to be hard to work it out so I've been through the whole home here and I'll just give you a, I'll just give you a, uh, a tour of the, this again, this is the final coat. And so you can kind of see now how, like how far, you know, we're getting out with all of these, you know, how, how big of a spread we have on the wall and that's called feathering. And we want to do that feathering so that we, you know, get rid of the abrupt changes like the bumps. You know, if you can remember up along the top here, you know, we had uh, patches and things and you can just see now this is all starting to come together. 
all right i'm just gonna take you for a quick walk but you can just you know just see how this is you know we've got a pretty wide spread here now where the mud goes back out into the wall and what that does you know is it helps to uh disguise our joints so we don't see them um, same on the corner beads you know you can see how we're you know we've got you know quite far out here now you know we started out like there and then we went to there and now we're out to here so each progressive uh, coat gets you know wider and wider and you can see here we've got around this little laundry area there was a some pretty heavy duty uh, patching and stuff that we did in this area but it's uh, you know it's coming together we still got a little bit of work to do around that washer box there and you know here we are in the master bedroom if you went back and looked at that very first video uh, where we did our walkthrough before we started to do any uh, taping you will remember how rough this wall was and now it's uh, you know this is ready for the final sanding and then we'll be painting The uh, master or the ensuite bath. You know, these little bulkheads are, you know, just finishing out now. You know, they, these are ready for the final sanding. Okay, and again, you know, the same as the uh, when they put the second coat on. You know, I mentioned to you that I wasn't fussy about getting it really smooth. Um, you know, the uh, the way I do it is, you know, I get it on and then I sand it off. So you can see here, I think, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but like you can see, like right in here, there's some ridges yet. So, you know, uh, on my final sanding now, those little ridges are all going to disappear and we're going to have a smooth wall. And here in the corner, you can see some trial marks. So that's all going to sand out. All right, so now here you can see, like here, you know, the tape is about here, that drywall tape that we initially put on. And you can see how far now we've gone, you know, on either side of that joint to do that, what we call feathering out. Second thing around the electrical panel here. And you can see how we've trimmed that out now with the corner beads and the trim. And we did a cut out on the bottom there to fish some wires up from the underneath and uh, you can see now that that's pretty much disappeared. I'll just take you for a walk through the kitchen. I've got this one wall at the end here that's left that I'm going to do the uh, the third coat on. Second coat, second coat of fill. So it's basically three steps. Your mud, one fill coat, and then the, and then, and then the second uh, fill coat. So you can see how here, um, like our tape is right about here. And then you can see how far we are out on either side of that tape. So now when I put that next coat of, the last coat of fill mud, I'll be coming out, you know, even further. You can see on this wall, I don't know if you remember this wall, but um, you know, we actually had two, two rows of tape through here and we had a big patch in the middle. And so now you can see how this is just, you know, all been just kind of like almost plastered in here. And again, you can see some trial marks, but now we, you know, when I get through with this last coat, it's going to get sanded out. You know, there again on that bulkhead, you can see some marks. Okay, and then in that bathroom, that bathroom wall was bad. And then this is, of course, is our other little, our other little bedroom here. So once I get this, uh, you know, all sanded out for the last time, then I'm ready for primer. So in our next video, we're going to be doing the primer coat. Um, if I come across any little imperfections in the mud before I do the primer, I, I don't worry about it. Uh, uh, I just uh, get the primer on and then if there's any, uh, you know, imperfections that still remain after, you know, I get the primer on, then it's quite easy to fix those. Uh, uh, at that time if you try to get it you know for for people like us that don't do this that often if you try to get it too perfect to begin with
before you get that primer on, it's really hard. Like you really have to have a good eye and know what you're looking at. Uh, I find that once you get the primer on, then it really becomes easy to, uh, you know, to see what's still has to be fixed up. You know, at that point, it's going to be very minor. All right, so um, I'll get the camera on my head and uh, we'll show you how we're going to do this last coat of mud on that wall over there. And uh, yeah, that will that will uh, that'll be it for our mudding. All right, folks. Uh, Stay tuned, I'm just going to change my camera angle here. All right, folks, so I'm going to show you how we're going to put this last coat of mud on here. So we've already done, we've already done out on this side. So now we're just going to come out on this side and then kind of go across here as well. And once we get the, uh, the corners and the, uh, and the top angle done, we're, then we'll uh, do the fill out. All right, so, you know, since this is dry up on top here, I hope, you, hope the angle's right, uh, you know, we can slide our trowel along there. You know, I'm kind of getting repetitive here, but I've showed you this before on the second coat, but you know, we're using our six inch trowel here and we're just gonna go right along the top there. down the corner again and this is a very very thin layer of mud that we're doing here now so you can see you know there's a spot right there where it's dry so you know that's that's gonna get filled out here now on this coat Okay, and we go down to the bottom. And we pull our mud up from the bottom. Hope you can see this. I'm using my GoPro here and it's, I don't know, the GoPro is kind of a finicky thing. Sometimes it works great and sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of flaky. All right, so now we're just gonna, you know, finish going across the top here. My mud is a little bit heavy. And, you know, we've talked about in the other videos how we, uh, the biggest part of this is getting your mud right. So I haven't, uh, it's been a while since I've done that last coat in my, Mud has been sitting in the pail there. It's got a bit stiff, and so you know that's another thing that every time you you just do next another coat, uh, if your mud's been sitting for a while, you want to uh, remix it. Okay, and again, you know, we're not too concerned about getting things real smooth here, you know, because we, uh, that's why we have sandpaper. Okay, so now, you know, that I've done that angle there and done the angle down the corner, now I will come back in and do these flats. Okay, and you can see how, you can see how narrow this flat is and you can kind of see how the, on the edges, we can see the edges of the mud there. So, you know, that's why we want to feather this out, you know, further. So this will come out, you know, further here when I do this next uh, application here. Now I do have to go around my little box down here one more time. Okay, so I'm just starting down there. I'm gonna pull it up there. And so, you know, with these boxes you can you can come right up to the box like this. It doesn't hurt to fill it right out there. Okay, underneath my electrical thing there, I need to do a little bit.
You know, and again, when we get into the sanding, that's all going to take care of that in there. It's hard to do it, you know, around these boxes. Okay, that's good enough for that. So now I'm going to change to my uh, 8 inch trowel. And I will go to the top so you can kind of see here where, um, you know, there's a, it's kind of rough there. You can see here where there's a trowel mark from before. Uh, that's going to get filled in now. So you can see how I'm coming, you know, a little further out with my trowel now. So there, here's the old mud and my new mud's going to be over here. Mud is a bit stiff. If I was going to do much of this, I would want to uh, thin it out a bit. It's just a bit heavy. Okay, and I don't have to worry about these nails anymore. You know, two coats usually will fill those, so we're we're done with those. is just a bit thick it's not pulling nicely and you can remember when I told you before if it feels like it's hard work your mud is too it's too thick and that's how this is feeling here this feels like it's uh, you know too hard You know, you can see compared to that second coat, uh, you know, it's uh, we're not putting much mud on in comparison. Okay, you can see I got a bit of a divot there, so I'm gonna pull it through there. Okay, now once I get that done, I just go very, very lightly, you know, just smooth it out. But, you know, again, I'm not concerned about getting it really, really smooth. You know, my sanding will, will take care of that. Okay, you can see I got a bit of a light spot there, so I'm gonna just throw some in there. But I do have to, thin out my mud a bit here and I'm gonna do that before I do these over here all right but that's the idea of it folks so you can see uh, how so I think you can see now how far you know we've come out now you know it's each time like we you know now we have a swath through there that's about 16 inches wide 16 to 18 inches wide so what that's done is it's feathered everything out and that's that's how you get how you hide your joints all right so i'm gonna thin my mud out and then i'm gonna finish this and then i'm gonna be done with my uh my full coat all my fill coats and uh i'm gonna let this dry then i'm gonna give it the final sanding and then i'm gonna get some uh get some primer on here so uh in the next video uh, we'll be uh, we'll be priming so I'll show you that that uh, and after that we are, are going to be going to our ceilings 
So getting close to being finished with, uh, you know, with these walls and then we're going to get into some cabinets and millwork. Uh, my cabinets have arrived, so they're uh, at the warehouse. Uh, I'm going to pick them up on uh, in a couple days and so they'll be ready to go and uh, we'll start uh, getting the millwork finished and uh, you know the cabinetry and uh, it's going to start to get, get really interesting in here. All right folks, uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.